Sorry about the lighting. It's gone dark outside, so it's something like four o'clock, so I've had to put the lights on and I need to work on my lighting situation because this is gross. Yo people, hope you're well. Welcome back to the channel. Quite a lot of new subs in the last week, so welcome to the channel. I'm guessing is something to do with the BTS video that I put up last week, um, which has gone down pretty well. I had loads of nice comments and I've tried to answer as many questions as I can in the comments and hopefully I've made sense and hopefully it was helpful, uh, but the feedback's been really good. The one thing that I have had the most conversation around or I've had the most people asking or confused by the use of stills in the editing and like taking still grabs on the wedding day and then using them in the film in the edit. Um, so that, that's been the biggest thing that people have picked up on. So I thought I would do this video to clarify how I actually blend them into the edit and into the film. So you know if you've been inspired to go out and shoot stills for getting any details on the wedding day like the dress like I did in that BTS video or the table settings, if any of you have been inspired to go out and shoot stills and try that at your next wedding, um, I'm going to show you now how I kind of blend that into the edit and make it make it look smooth and coherent so that you can get away with it because the whole the whole point of this trick is to use the stills in a way that doesn't detract from the film and it doesn't kind of stick out to the viewer who's watching as oh that's a still image you know it should blend in seamlessly so but first of all this this is not kind of some revolutionary trick I've been doing this since the start and I know a lot of people in the UK do it and as far as I know it's all down to Philip White um, and if you're not familiar with Philip White's work, he's a wedding videographer, go check him out. I think, as far as I know, he kind of pioneered using stills in wedding films. I'm sure it's been done before in other films, but I'm, as far as I know, Phil pretty much came up with it for wedding films and everyone followed suit. I certainly did, and it's been great. Got to credit him for that. Uh, but interestingly, I did see it on Jessica Jones season two on Netflix was using still images to transition between scenes. I noticed that a few months ago. Uh, so that was interesting. Anyway, so here's the timeline. I'm gonna dive into the timeline that I used from that film that my BTS video is about. I'll link the BTS video, I'll link the actual finished film in the description. And this is the timeline from that, from that actual film. This is my timeline. I edit in Final Cut Pro. I've got all my B-roll clips at the top here, um, audio at the bottom, massive track, and a bit of the ceremony there. So it just starts with a few of the scene setters, as you'll know if you saw the the actual film on my channel. And then it cuts to the ceremony, and then. This here is the first time that I've used a still in the actual film. So it's cut. Um, it cuts to the celebrant doing that little bit and then it cuts to a still. And you can see like, it's just a little snippet of detail. There's, it's not obvious that that's the dress. It's not like a full shot of the dress, but I think it's still obvious that that is the dress. You can see that bit of detail in the bit of, jewelry that kind of makes your eye looks at it for a second and goes oh what's what is that and then then you put two and two together and you realize that it's probably the dress but it's just a bit of a bit more artistic than showing the full dress and it's kind of soft and there's the next still and that's that's the shoes and because they're only on the screen for a couple of seconds and because um they're quite sort of the, 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 I've used shallow depth for field and I've focused in on a little detail so that for the, as soon as you see it your eye is kind of trying to figure out what it is and by the time that your eye has but by the time that you've reasoned that it's probably a part of the dress it's already moved on to the next clip which is the shoes and then you go oh look there's the shoes and you're kind of looking at that and you can just see a little bit of highlighting on the back of the shoe there from where the light's coming in and you're kind of picking up on that and and then it moves on. So I think the best way to use stills is to shoot something quite abstract, maybe um, so some pattern or a little detail that's with everything else kind of blurred out of focus or shoot through a bit of glass or something just to add interest so that your eyes kind of trying to figure out what's going on. The second or so that it takes your brain to actually figure out what the image is 
then it moves on to the next one and you've not even registered that it's a still um, is the theory I think that works um, but especially for this part of the day because the music's quite soft and all the other footage is quite static and quite still the still images don't look out of place it's not like I've gone from a crazy gimbal shot to a still it's gone from quite still footage to a still and it, it works um, so I'll just find I'll skip through to drinks reception have I used another one here somewhere so I've used one here at the end of the ceremony Brandon Green walking off and then that is a still of the cake and I've just have, again focused in on the little initials on the cake and you've got like blurred out leaves and blurred out flowers and it just kind of makes the shot a bit more interesting and it just flashes up on the screen for a couple of seconds and it helps in this uh, instance it helps to transition between the two scenes because you've got the brown and green walk in here and then I use that still image to kind of take away from that last scene and move into the next bit so it's, in this case it's taken away from the ceremony and it's moving into the drinks reception same here again this is this is a bit of scenery footage but because it's quite still and quite s smooth scenery footage when I cut to a still here that's a still image um, and it doesn't look too out of place But you know, it's not it's not for everyone, but I think it works. And people have been asking like why I do it and how I do it. And that was one of the main kind of conversations and comments that I had from this BTS video that I've done. So I just thought I'd kind of try and clear that up. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, me kind of giving you an insight into my editing process, if you will. Um, again, full credit to Philip White for that trick um, that everyone does these days. Um, and everyone kind of got it from him that you speak to. Uh, it's a brilliant little tip. So yeah, hope that was helpful and I am actually offering mentoring now I mentioned it on the last video sort of but I am I, I keep I, I'm not Still not figured out how to announce this properly, but I am actually offering Mentoring now that the seasons died down and we're in winter. I'm gonna open up mentoring essentially a Day with me in the office where I can show you all this kind of stuff shooting editing like exactly as I've done here but in a lot more detail as well as settings and business stuff and emails and all the rest of it um, and how to get bookings and da -da -da. Oh, like I say I didn't I didn't really know how to announce this and I don't want to plug it too much because it comes across a bit silly but um, you know if, if you are wanting to improve and learn over the winter and um, you're wanting some fresh ideas and inspiration and stuff check out my drop me a message or check out my website all the details are on there and if not just carry on watching the channel because i'll be back next week with another video and the week after with another one and da -da 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 -da. um so thank you for continuing to watch and hope this was helpful yeah see you in the next one